visualize that. So on my Raspberry Pi, I have another OS. So my Raspberry Pi is somewhere remotely connected in, in my office. And I am accessing the Raspberry Pi from a desktop. So how do I do that? We need to understand a few applications in that particular direction. First of all, the minute you connect the Raspberry Pi, you know, you power on the Raspberry Pi, we need to first connect the Raspberry Pi to the internet. Now, as you can see, it is connected to a Wi-Fi by the name CBCPL. Okay. All right. So, it's connected to CBCPL and uh, it's not connected to any Ethernet device as of now. It is connected to the Wi-Fi. All right. So, and I will also need from the terminal, I need to see what is the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. Now, if you do not know what an IP address or if networking or basic networking concepts yet, hold on. We will come to that in a bit. But for now, let's understand. The Raspberry Pi is a device. Okay, it's a device connected remotely in my office. Hope you are listening clearly to my words because this is quite important and you need to understand it very well. The Raspberry Pi is connected remotely in some location in my office, connected to the network, connected to the same network that my laptop or my desktop is in. So now the Raspberry Pi, when it is connected to the internet, as we can see, it is connected to the internet and, and my computer too is connected to the same network. Now, I want to see the Raspberry Pi screen on my desktop. Are you able to understand? I am. I want to see the Raspberry Pi desktop on my desktop. How do I do that? When both of them are not connected to each other. So, my monitor, my laptop is not connected to the Raspberry Pi in any way using a wire. How can we access both of them? The only way that we can access both of them is when the computer and the Raspberry Pi are connected to the internet and they are connected for now to the same network. They are connected to the same network in my office. So now, if that is the case, if they are both connected to the same network, I can access the Raspberry Pi over the network. I can see the screen of the Raspberry Pi over the network. All right. So that means if I would like to, if you, if you would want to understand an application or if you want to understand a real world example, it's something like this. You are surfing on your phone. You open Google Chrome or some browser on your phone. And when you open up the browser on your phone, you will hit a particular website. Let's say you hit maybe gmail.com or facebook.com or something like that. When you hit a particular site name on your phone, what happens? On your phone, you get a screen. You get a screen that is gmail.com or something like that. Basically, that is nothing but, if you go to the computer IT terms of it, it is an HTTP response to a request that you have sent. But it is, it is basically, you are requesting gmail server or you are requesting Facebook server from your phone to give you a page or to give you some data which you can see on your phone, which means the data that you see on the browser when you hit a particular page, that data is not stored in your phone, but it is coming from somewhere outside. It is coming from some other computer. It is some coming from some other server. And that particular data is coming over the internet or it is coming over the network. In the same manner, we from our desktop need to access the screen of the Raspberry Pi onto my desktop. Are you able to understand? Yes. Now, when you have to do that, you need to know what is the address. See, if you want to access the Raspberry Pi, you need to know what is the address of the Raspberry Pi when it is connected to the network. What is the address? If I do not know the address, I will not be able to talk to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, I will not be able to talk to the Raspberry Pi. All right, let's understand then. Okay, if that is the case, if that is the case, okay, I can talk to the Raspberry Pi. And, uh, and if I want to talk to the Raspberry Pi, what will I do? 
I need to know the IP address. Now, how do I find the IP address of the Raspberry Pi? In the Raspberry Pi screen, over here, you can write here ifconfig, which tells me the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. As you can see over here, it gives you an address. What is the address? 192.168.3.1. It gives you an address for WLAN 0. Now, this is the particular address that I want to access. Now, you have a question. Sir, you said that the Raspberry Pi is going to be remotely connected. Where? It is going to be connected somewhere, maybe on a tractor, or maybe it's going to be connected on a, on a generator, or something like that. If it's going to be connected somewhere, okay, how do I see what is the IP address? I don't know what the IP address is or how do I come to know what the IP address is? First is you need to connect to the same network of the Raspberry Pi. All right. So maybe that time the Raspberry Pi may be acting as a hotspot or it may be connected to a network somewhere and I can connect to that same network from my laptop. But then how do I get the IP address? Yes, I can get the IP address of the Raspberry Pi from something called as from a software called as advanced ip scanner so i have downloaded software called as advanced ip scanner in advanced ip scanner i can scan for all the ips which are from 192.168.3.1 to 254 so that is what we are going to see. So this is how we are going to scan for different devices which are there connected to the network. And we'll come to know one of them can be or may be my Raspberry Pi. As you can see, um, some of them, the names of some of them have been given. 192.168.3.1, 3.2, 3.100, 3.1, 3.1, 3.2. In most cases, they give you the name out here. Now, in my case over here, I don't have the name because it is first of all connected to the Wi-Fi. If you connect it to the Ethernet, you will get a name out here called as the Raspberry Pi. Now, it was not easy. It was not difficult for me to decode because it cannot be 3.1 and 3.2 because they are defined by my office. But it could be any one of these two. So I tried both of them, and here I have my 3.101 this is my raspberry pi so this is my ip address so i know this is my ip address now i need to use the application to log in onto my raspberry pi all right before so i'm going to close this for now and before we close this i just need to see one thing all right let's say i want to see one thing and uh that's that is what is if you go to preferences and if you go to raspberry pi configuration Okay, I just want you to know you have a password for Raspberry Pi or for this particular user. Now, the password you can change the password, but now I would not recommend to ch you to change the password. All right, but what is the actual password? You can have a look. This is what Raspberry Pi comes preloaded with the username is Pi, and the password is Raspberry, the Pi and Raspberry. Remember, there's a P in the Raspberry. All right. Cool. Now, what am I going to do? I'm going to close all of these. I'm going to close all these applications for now. Yep. And I need to tell you now how to access my Raspberry Pi from my desktop. So my Raspberry Pi is connected somewhere remotely. All right. I need to connect it to my desktop. How do I do that?